Meanwhile, Vice President and DPP Chair Lai Qingde attended the inauguration of an office in Taipei for his presidential campaign. Lai was joined at the event by other party members, all wearing Lai's new campaign jacket, while shouting slogans in support of the party's eight legislative candidates for the city. Around a thousand supporters were on hand, including former Health Minister Chen Shizhong, who is also the honorary head of a club for President Tsai Ing-wen's supporters. My feeling is that no matter who we support, Lai Qingde or Tsai Ing-wen, we are a social welfare group that seeks to use our image to strengthen these individuals' political influence during times of election. Whether representing Lai or Tsai, the road ahead for this election is one in support of local governance. We want to express that together we are greater than the sum of our parts. One of our missions is for me to be elected president. Let's hit a home run in Taipei, all right? This election is about making a decision, whether to stand together with democracy or to fall to communism. It's as simple as that. During his opening remarks, Lai took the opportunity to blast KMT Vice Chair Andrew Xia for attending a cross-strait forum currently being held in China. The KMT's presence at the event was tantamount to agreeing to Beijing that opposing unification equated to separatism, Lai said. Lai's campaign team also announced plans to open a new Taipei office next week which will position it to directly take on his campaign rival, new Taipei mayor, Ho Yo Yi.